Well, here at Lakeland Public Television, we've been in our new building now for 12 months and are just wrapping up the tail end of our Building for the Future campaign. Just this week, the First National Bank Foundation met and presented Lakeland Public Television CEO Bill Sanford with their third payment of $10,000, fulfilling their commitment supporting Lakeland's Building for the Future campaign. Lakeland's new home would not have been possible without the support of the state of Minnesota, generous businesses and individuals from around the region, and foundations like the George W. Nielsen Foundation, the Joseph and Janice Lucan Family Foundation, the First National Bank Foundation, Wells Fargo Foundation, the Otto Bremer Foundation, the Blandin Foundation, and the Mardag Foundation. In addition to funding for the building, part of Lakeland Public Television's Building for the Future campaign was for our program Future Fund. This fund is dedicated to provide new local programming for the region. Using some of this seed money this year, Lakeland Public Television has added an additional full-time news reporter and is focusing staff time and resources on growing its online news presence at lptv.org news. In addition, Bethany Wesley is joining Ray Gildow to host a new Bemidji-based run of Lakeland's long-running public affairs program called Lakeland Currents. This will more than double the number of episodes of Currents over the next 12 months, and it's all been possible by generous donors. Lakeland Public Television is thanks everyone who has had a part in helping us grow our service to serve North Central Minnesota. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.